Hey everyone, welcome back to the CG Artist Academy and today we're going to learn how to create a liquid flow or we can say a water flow in Houdini. So, in the initial days of real flow, everyone wanted to create this kind of effects. So, I thought let's create this liquid flow uh, with the help of a curve. And after learning this technique, the technique which I have used, uh, you can create a multiple kind of effects like swirly liquid with the help of the curve. So what derives this effect is curve. Okay, so let's get started. So here we are in Houdini and uh, let's create a geo few geo nodes because we will create uh, many things over here. Okay, so let's uh, rename it emitter. And the second one is uh, we will say a uh, path. Okay. Let's create another geo node. We will say it bubbles. We will create another another geo node and we'll call it meshing. Okay. And uh, first of all, let's get into the emitter. Here we will create a sphere. Okay, and it should be a polygon mesh. With pressing W on, a, on your keyboard, you will go to the wireframe mode. And uh, here we will create another node, uh, which is transform node. And let's rename it to scale. It's always good to rename your nodes when needed. Okay, and a scale should be 0 0.3. Enable it. And here we will create a, a null. And let's rename it to out emitter. That's it. Now let's go into the path. And here we will draw a curve. So let's press tab and type curve and uh, primitive type should be nobs okay so let's draw a curve to draw a curve uh, click on this uh, show handle tab so we'll get this controller and let's start creating it or you can go into your uh, perspective set view and in front view go to your go to your front view and let's create the path which you create the path on which you want to flow your liquid and press enter that's it so this is my curve and you can create whatever type of curve you want to create let's go back to your our perspective view and our curve is created cool okay now let's create a new null and we will call it out curve or path so that will be the path for the liquid okay so it's it's been created now uh, we will use these two later now we need to create a dop network and we'll rename it to sim okay that's why it's very important because by default uh, if you have DOP network or if you have more than one DOP network or networks, you will get confused. So it's very important to rename your nodes. So let's jump into this node and and here we will create few nodes. Uh, pop solver. Pop source. Pop object. Let's connect these pop object to the first input of the pop source pop solver so pop source should be in the last one okay we don't need any gravity so let's connect this to the out and uh, let's select your pop force and in the soft path we will select the emitter which we have created go to your objects and here we have emitter and out emitter okay so now you can see that particles over the object or object and uh, 
go to your birth node here on the constant activation we will write a, a small code or expression okay because we need the uh, continuous flow till the hundredth frame after that we don't need that okay to do that we will create we will uh, write a expression one into bracket dollar f smaller than 100 so what we are saying here is we only need the activation till the hundredth frame okay after that we don't need that so it's done and 5000 particles is fine here just go to the attributes and here inherit velocity put it to zero okay and let's play so you can see that the particles are emitting on the uh, surface of the object okay so this has been done and uh, next uh, here now we need few more things let's add a pop curve force node and connect to the middle input of the pop solver in the pop curve force there is a soft path we will connect the path which we have created okay so out path selected and you can see that it's, it's uh, showing guide geometry you can see that it's following our curve so if i see now uh, particle will flow the pop curve modifier which we added so you can see that it's following the path correct so next what we're gonna do is it's not looking that much fluidy so we're gonna make it like a fluidy and some uh, you know what uh, some unevenness so it it will look more organic okay so to do that we will add the pop force okay so let's press tab and type pop force we'll add that and connect between the pop solver and the pop curve node okay go to your first frame and uh, select your pop curve force and we can disable this guide geometry so now we don't have to see that guide which pop curve pop curve force have created okay so let's connect the pop force and here we we will change a setting over here amplitude should be 1.5 and let's see how it comes let's simulate that so it's giving it's giving it a few uh, uh, iterations to change its behavior okay now we need to add a drag force we will add a pop drag and we will connect between pop force and the pop solver with the value of 1.5 let's go for the first frame and let's see again how the simulation comes after applying this drag force now you can see that the motion is now more fluidy you can see that the pop force is acting properly now correct so you can see that that fluidy feel we got that correct so it's looking more organic now so this part is done next we need to add one more thing i need to add a pop fluid node because still even it's getting that uh, organic look but still it look it doesn't look like a fluid it's like a particle so i want that uh, that uh, surface tension that uh, thickness uh, when the liquid flows okay so to achieve that i will add a, a pop fluid node okay let's add that and uh, we'll create in between this don't forget to save your file sometimes it get crashes okay and uh, in here we will change few values okay for the particle separation 0 0.02 Const constraint iterations should be 20 constraint stiffness should be uh, 10 and leave other part as it is okay now again we will simulate it and see how it comes let's simulate it to 150 frames so because of this uh, pop fluid we can have this properties of liquid you can see that those drops and a little tread tendrils and the surface tension we have now okay earlier it was like a 
particles flowing out uh, on the path okay so that's why i added this pop fluid to give it a liquidy feel okay so my simulation is done over here now we will create a um, meshing part okay so let's go into the meshing okay here we will create a node called dop.io you can rename it to like import sim or whatever you want to name it and uh, here we will add our dop network and which is simulation okay and let's switch off from here and go inside and we are not able to see it why because the dop node also so let's say it pop object in the field to import just add one okay so we will have our particles now we will add a particle fluids plot particle fluid surface we'll add some particle separation around 0.01 and we'll add the adaptivity to the zero and uh, in the filtering we'll do nothing for now let's see how it comes it will calculate and give it give us the uh, mesh so now you can see that the simulation uh, the mashing is done and it's i'm getting pretty good mash okay i'm happy about that it's completely up to you you can you can experiment uh, on this uh, you can increase the particle separation you can increase the particles and uh, there are multiple way of uh, mashing the particles y you can see my earlier tutorials about how to mash okay so that way the mash is done so after this you can export your mash by adding a raw alembic output that also you can see in my earlier tutorials how we can export mash and all okay now the only part is left is how to create bubbles okay so how i created it okay to be very frank i followed a tutorial of a artist called avrid he is a uh, lighting td at ilm he has a huge library of tutorials you can obviously go and check out his tutorials i will drop the link of his uh, channel okay and uh, it's very helpful so what i'm going to do is i will drop down the link in which you can get the brief how you uh, how you can um, uh, create bubbles from the uh, uh, particles or okay so again we have to create a node called dop io uh, we will select our dop network which is sim dop node which is a pop object okay and let's hide this and here we will add one like before and next we will add a attribute wrangler okay and here we will i will add a code and uh, which he has used okay and uh, i will share the link so that you can uh, learn or uh, understand why he is created that link okay i am not getting into that because he explained very well and uh, i will share this code in the description also so you can check out over there and just click on this uh, create parameters node so you will get this controller seeds and percentage okay let's enable this in the seed i will add 500 and here i will like 0.995 so now you can see that with the percentage you can control how many particles or how how many particles you need for the bubbles so it's like an amount of bubbles you need okay so i guess 0.995 is better for me this much this much uh, bubbles i need or i can say a little bit more six five okay so these many particles i need these mu these much bubbles i need okay so next what i'm gonna do is i will create a sphere and i will create a copy to point nodes and let's create a sphere to the first input and wrangle it to the second and let's see and now you can see that these spheres 
now instance on the on these particles so that's how i created my bubbles okay and it's depends on you you can definitely go to your uh, attribute wrangler or you can just a minute you can change its size okay the minimum and the maximum my minimum is 0 .00, 0 0.0004 and 0 0.006 so you can change that to get the variation okay so next uh again we can create a raw alembic node to export the bubbles that's how i exported it so after that uh, i imported all the scenes like a uh, mash and the bubbles in maya and render it out okay but one more file setup i have created let me show you so this is the another file which i have i have created with the same technique but this time it's like uh, revolving around uh, the can okay so you can see that and even it's interacting with this can if you see you can see over here so if i uh, maximize this i have created this setup setup with both with a pop fluid setup and a flip uh, fluid setup so if you guys need this file if you uh, want this file i'll be uploading this file to gumroad and if you want to support me it's it's not that much chargeable okay it's very uh, it's not that expensive okay so if you want to download this file you can buy this file from gumro okay so that 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 is the file i want to show you okay and uh, it has everything so that's how i achieved this uh, look in uh, houdini and uh, i hope you like the result and uh, thanks for watching this tutorial thanks for giving me this much time and uh, thanks for the regular comments and suggestion i am getting and it helped me a lot and I'm trying to make more tutorials and uh, from last two weeks I was not here and uh, I was out of the station I was on a trip with my friends that's why I was not able to update tutorials uh, now I will try to make more tutorials as soon as possible and uh, if you like this tutorial please like hit like because liking and commenting means according to the YouTube algorithm it helps me uh, to reach more people okay and subscribe my channel if you are not subscribed yet and uh, thanks for your support and uh, take care of yourself we'll see you next time